you think the new rules strike the right balance between efficiency and safety? For Berkshire, what impact will these new rules have on the operations of Marmon's Union Tank Car subsidiary and on the BNSF Railroad? Can you also update us on the BNSF initiative to purchase up to 5,000 of its own oil tankers, uh, oil tank cars, which is a departure from historic industry practices? You've asked all the questions I'll be asking, but the, I think those rules just came out, what, two days ago now? Yeah, and they're 300 pages. And uh, little as I have to do with this meeting and everything, I have, I have not read those, although I've talked very briefly to, to Matt Rose about them and also Frank Patak, who runs our the company that manufactures and leases tank cars. Uh, you know, our interest, the, the, actually the interest of our railroad and our tank car manufacturing and leasing operation may diverge in various ways. Uh, clearly, we've got an interest, the country has an interest in developing safer cars, and we found uh, that the some cars we thought were safe are, have turned out to be less safe than we thought going in. Uh, the most dangerous kinds of things we carry, of course, are we, as a common carrier, we have to carry uh, chlorine, we have to carry ammonia, we, uh, and we're required to carry that. We'd rather not carry it. Uh, there are dangerous uh, products that, that have to get transported in the country, and it's more logical to transport them by rail than either truck or pipeline, and some of those we'd rather not carry, but we do carry. Uh, I would say that uh, uh, the probably everybody will be somewhat unhappy with the rules, but the you know it, it's up to it, it is up to Washington and the government to devise the rules under which uh, something that is potentially dangerous is, is transported and. Transporting by pipeline has its problems. Uh, transporting by rail has its problems. And uh, railroads have gotten dramatically safer over the years. Our safety figures, and Burlington Northern leads the industry in, in, in safety, but the safety figures get better year after year. Uh, and uh, you are, but you're going to have derailments and you better, you better have a, very safe cars carrying that, and, and, and nothing will be perfect. Charlie? Yeah, well, big companies and successful companies like Burlington Northern and Exxon and Chevron and so on uh, have a lot of engineers, and, uh, and they have long histories of trying to be way safer than average and knowing a lot about how to do it. And not, none of that is going to change. You'd be out of your mind to own these big companies and not run them with a big attention to safety, and we're not out of our minds, and neither are the people who run Burlington Northern. The, the safety is going to be improved continuously, and should be. Yeah, and it has been consistently, but it. Yeah. But there are new problems. For one thing, the the Bakken crude has proven to be quite a bit more volatile than most of the crude that well, is. It's not really crude; it's condensate. I mean, it's almost misnamed. Call it crude. It's it is more volatile. Yeah. I, I can tell you, and I may write about this next year in the report, though, that Burlington Northern has the best safety record among the big railroads, and Berkshire Hathaway Energy, it's extraordinary, their safety record in, in terms of utilities. And every utility we purchased at Berkshire Hathaway Energy, we brought uh, the safety statistics, uh, they've gotten far better after uh, Greg Abel has, has taken over. After they bought the Omaha pipeline, which had been mismanaged and safety had been improperly ignored, we watched those people, the Berkshire employees, just work day and night improving the safety. They didn't want more pipeline explosions. Yeah. Yeah, we went from last out of 40-some, I think it was, to either second or first. And if we were second, it was because our other pipeline was first. And, 